What's up guys? So today's video is gonna be on autopiloting and why autopiloting is actually a good thing and something you should be looking to improve on and use to your advantage because I feel like a lot of people view autopilot as a negative thing. And I hear all the time, oh my God, my autopilot stinks. I need to stop autopiloting. I keep making these mistakes because I'm not focusing. And that is signs of a problem. The autopilot is bad. That is not the fault of autopilot itself. Because I can tell you right now, as a top player, most of the time when I'm playing, I am just autopiloting with like two or three things I'm actively focusing on. Not just in pools versus people I'm better than, but versus other top players. Most of my gameplay is actually autopilot. It's things I've conditioned and practiced myself so I can execute without any thought at all. And that is key to improvement, is making it so you can execute the things you're practicing without thinking about it at all. Because I don't know anyone that can truly focus on like everything they need to at once when playing Smash. Spacing, combos, percents, the opponent, difficult inputs, stages, matchups. Like there's so many factors going on at once. And so many, so many things you have to do as a player when playing Smash at like any level that it's impossible to think about it at once, even if you try. So the key instead is when you're playing, you want to focus on like two or three things at once. If you're practicing, focus on things you're trying to improve on. Maybe it's reads, maybe it's attack, maybe it's combo, maybe it's spacing, whatever it is. Focus on that and practice it enough that you can execute what you're trying to do without any extra thought to that execution. When you're playing like a tournament, you know, instead of focusing on practice, focus on what do you need to do to win? You know, two or three things you have to focus on while playing. Maybe someone's air dodge habits, maybe the recovery patterns, maybe punishing a very specific move, maybe landing a certain combo. Whatever it is, you want to be able to focus on like two or three things and let the rest of your play do whatever. And you know, it might sound very difficult to get to a point where you autopilot something you can confidently rely on. But like me, for example, I play, and there's a lot of times I make reads and adaptations without even actively thinking about it. You know, I kind of see a jump in a situation and go, oh, you jumped here. And then I don't have to tell myself, all right, I'm gonna punish this with an up air. I say jump and my body kind of instinctively reacts with an up air maybe, or like an up smash, whatever it's gonna be, just a vague example. And at the end of the day, that is your goal. Because autopilot is basically your baseline skill. It is your skill theoretically at your worst when you're playing awful and you can't focus whatever it is it is how you play the game and basically kind of where you start like like the line you're starting at before any improvement you can make and the goal is to constantly raise that bar higher because the higher that base level bar is the higher your highest level bar can be how much you can improve at that moment and yeah that's kind of Oh, one other thing I want to add actually is that another thing that happens when you're focusing a lot on something and not autopiloting it is you're actually more likely to mess up the things you're actively focusing on, especially when you have them down pretty well. So for example, I've been, you know, doing a lot of the, the Rose attack against attack for a while now. And I just started very recently getting the more difficult Lunar Jump tech where I do like air dodges out of the attack cancels. And I just started recently getting them down pretty consistently after a long time. And the thing is, I do it now without thinking about it, and in fact, I do it at my best when I'm not even actively thinking about how to do these different things. But, the moment I mess up once or twice and start thinking, alright, I keep timing this wrong, okay, I gotta do this input this way. Like, whatever it is, I generally over or undercompensate because now I'm not letting my body do what it knows how to do. I'm kind of trying to manually do it, leading to things like, alright, timing it too early, alright, did it too early, now I'm gonna time it too late. I didn't hold the stick in this direction, and it causes me to mess up more than if I just hold the L when I do mess it up. Which doesn't mean I should practice it. I should, for sure. It's just one of those things that, especially in the middle of a match, I am very likely to keep making more mistakes by prioritizing this thing and constantly thinking about it. And you know, maybe it's me, but I feel like I've, I feel like I'm not the only person who has this. And yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I think autopilot is like, as I said at the beginning of the video, 
the most important thing to improve on if you want to get better. And with that said guys, that is the uh, end of the video. Hope it was informative for y'all. I should try to make more videos like this, but um, hard to think of good ideas. So that is that. And with that said guys, peace out. I should hold up, I, I think this ending, I think that just finishes right now, right? I mean, let me just watch the end of this. All right, now we're done. Peace.